ticking on both online and in-person registration ahead of November 5th, a monumental ruling by the state's highest court giving convicted felons the opportunity to cast their ballot after completing their sentence. It's a story we've been following for nearly two months when the state's attorney general said a recently passed law restoring that right was unconstitutional. 1011's John Grinvold brings us the latest in this saga. It was the dawn of something new for one man in Nebraska this afternoon at the Douglas County Election Commission office. He spent much of his life in and out of the state's carceral system, and today he registered to vote for the first time. Jason Cotus was one of the thousands waiting in the wings, hoping to take part in democracy and cast his first ever vote this year. But then Secretary of State Bob Evnett, following an Attorney General Mike Hilger's brief, refused to enforce a law that was passed just months ago, expanding voting rights for people with past felony convictions. As the Nebraska Supreme Court took up the issue, Jason was in the dark. The court's ruling today brought him some light, so he went to register. It's awesome. Thank you. Yes, That's awesome. Excited, excited to go vote. Excited to, uh, yeah, honor all the hard work that's been done on my behalf. I think this is just my responsibility to go, go do this. The Supreme Court didn't have enough consensus to weigh in on the constitutionality of the law or its predecessor, which let people vote two years after completing their felony sentences. Organizations like Civic Nebraska and ACLU Nebraska are hailing the ruling as a victory for democracy. Attorney General Mike Hilgers said this, We appreciate the Supreme Court's consideration of this important issue and are grateful that the court provided clarity before the election. Reporting in Douglas County, John Grinvolts, 1011 News.